question. Yeah. All right, last question. And this is funny. You'll love some of the answers you hear from your former GMs and all of that. <laughs> What's something nobody knows about Kobe Lewis? John Daniel, he has uh, lucky underwear that he used to wear on planes. Oh, yeah. When he goes on airplanes, he has a pair for the plane ride and one for the plane ride back. Chris Young is really into the uh, true crime, right? True crime documentaries. Oh, when yeah. He needs yeah. to unwind. He loves the true crime documentary. Yeah, What's yeah. something nobody knows about Kobe Lewis? I like those docs too. Um, but um, I don't know. When I was playing, I felt like uh, um, I'd always bring my my own pillow on the road. Okay. Yeah. So and I, and I put a black pillowcase on it so I never forget it. So because you know all everywhere you go in the nicer hotel rooms, it's everything's white, right? Yeah. Sure. So, so I was like, well, I can't, you know, put a white pillowcase on it. Otherwise, I'd forget it. So I put a black pillowcase on it, a tempur pillow. I always traveled with my own tempur pillow. So it was the same one I had, same style at home as the one I brought on the road. So I would sleep better. So I don't know. I mean, like, maybe, maybe that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of the road, Pfizer Hotel, Milwaukee, 2010. Oh, here we go. <laughs> let's, let's hear it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I could, the yeah, Pfizer's it's, haunted. It's, by it's the way. crazy. That's it's the, crazy. I could show like so. Everybody <laughs> thinks that you know whatever. I mean, you're gonna everybody's gonna have their stories of it. You know, ghost stories are true or if they're not, or if you've actually seen it or not. Yeah. But you see what you see, and you and hey. it is what it is. So um, yeah, but yeah. I mean, you get. It, I think you can go under the the, the Fister or whatever it is, uh, Pfizer Hotel, and and uh, see you know, like the the Wikipedia about- on it, and, and my name's on it or whatever. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, I went to bed. I was pitching the next day and it was a day game. Day game. So I always crush like a ton of water, like especially mm-hmm. leading up. Like I just, it's my, always my thing. I still, my wife always, and my brother says the same things. I don't know how much, I don't know how you can drink, consume so much water. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, so, well, when that happens for me anyways, like, like I get up like two or three times in the middle of the night. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta go pee. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the second time I've gotten up, like, so I go to bed at like 11, 1130 after the night in the, the night game, wake up after the second time, go back, to go back to sleep. And that's when I have this dream that I'm in, that it's, I'm in my room. But so somebody's knocking on my door. So I go to the door, open it up. There's nobody there. Right. Go back, <laughs> lay down. But I'm dreaming this. Go back, lay down. Somebody knocks on the door again. I go out to the door and nobody's there. And I'm like, this is dumb. So I kind of back up and then I see a shadow like under the door, right? And I kind of look underneath like I'm dreaming this. I look under, there's nothing there, but the shadow's there. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back to sleep, right? In my dream. Right. So um, when I turn around to go back to go sleep in my dream, I hear, you know, like all the hotel rooms have the latch. You know, like the, the yeah, extra latch sure. on top. <clears throat> and I hear the latch squeak back and forth, turn around, and it's like the Grim Reaper style, like hood. You know, no scaffold, you know, <laughs> no nothing like that. And so he like lifts his head up, and all I see is like that, you know, like missing skull, kind of like half part, and it goes Vroom! like right at me like this. And then like you're falling out of the building, right? <laughs> like, and you and and I'm like in my dream, I'm like whoa, like it wakes me up, right? Mm. And I'm like, oh my gosh! And so I'm laying there. I'm like, open my eyes, and he's like, right there. Holy crap! Yeah. So, so I'm like, up, nope. I'm like, I close my eyes. I'm like, I'm like, this ain't happening. Nope, uh, nope. This ain't happening. So, open my eyes up again, and now he's a little further away, just kind of backing him up. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, so I'm like, reach over, turn the light on, Cole. Reach over, turn the light on. Right. And I'm like, pumping myself up. Reach over, turn the light on. Nothing's, nothing's there. Yeah. And then I look at, this is. I look at the picture on my wall that's in there. There's like a couple of trees and you could, it looked like the trees were kind of moving a little bit. And I'm like, no <laughs> chance right now. <laughs> right. And so I'm like, so I reach open <laughs> for, um, uh, the drawer right here, grab the Bible, turn the TV on. Right. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, just start just reading. And I'm just like, just, I'm just random stuff. I'm just like, I'm like, so turn the volume up on TV. I'm like, I'm like, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. So I'm still like my drilling's going. So I just like like get up and I walk, you know, like down the lobby, come back, and then I wind up going back to bed, and that was it. But I mean, it was yeah, like scared the crap out of me. So, yeah. Okay. So, but so I was doing something that that like the devil was literally trying to like scare the crap out of me. Like something something was going on. I don't know what it was, but 
He's making well, a point. How did you hear about this? Well, I was there. Okay. Yeah, he was making oh, man, a point. It was you. Room. You were the, the one ball. doing it. Yeah, he was going at your yeah. door, and I. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Right? anyway, yeah. Yeah. day game against Giovanni Gallardo, and what did you eight scoreless, and you had an RBI. No, double. I had. I was eight. I was uh, eight innings, two runs. I gave two solo shots to Prince, and oh, I don't remember. And that. like twelve punch, eleven or twelve punch outs, two hits, two RBIs. And then I wound up getting, and then the, you got pitcher we, of the week, pitcher of the week, because the week before, the game before that, it threw seven and shut out or something. Yeah, you got that was like the, that was like that great stretch. Where you guys won eleven or twelve in a row. We won a lot, yeah. and yeah. <laughs> it was when Hamilton was player of the month yeah. in July and was just out of his mind. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, anyway, I thought. And I he told you all the story or something, or what did you? Yeah, we yeah. talked to him. About yeah, it. yeah okay. so so, but yeah. next day, you know, I mean, I was, I mean. I'd go, always try to go to chapel as much as I could if mm. I wasn't working out or running or do, doing right. something right on right. Sunday. So the next day in chapel, I like I grabbed the the, the pastor. I was like, "Hey, dude, we got to pray, man." I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, because I'm like, whatever's happening right now, like he's attacking me for some reason. So, I'm but a man yeah, of faith yeah, too. yeah, I'd be doing yeah, the same thing. Yeah. So. All right. Anything else? No. Let him get out yeah. Anything. No, I appreciate it, guys. It's awesome. Yeah. This. Hey, you guys got a great setup. Too. Thank so, you. Appreciate everybody, guys. Like you guys. Rock so media yeah, here. Yeah. These guys have a fun place for us here, Colby. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. It's so yeah. great for you to come in and join us here in studio. Kobe Lewis, guys, Texas Ranger, great. And now since a uh, uh, special assistant to the general manager. In fact, I saw Kobe out at, uh, I don't even know if you remember this. It wasn't this year. Last year, you were ta talking to Matt Watley in the, oh, yeah. well, in the yeah, bullpen. Yeah. And I came and sat next to you. This is before him and I had gotten together. And I was like, that's Kobe Lewis, you know? And, here and I was doing the old, I was with another group then. Okay. Uh, you do remember that. Okay. Right, perfect. You were dying, but the conversation between him and Matt, that's what was so fascinating. They weren't talking strategy. They weren't talking that. He was just like, how are you? What do you need? What are you doing? And I remember going, wow, he's just here. He's like, taking you know, care of his guys. Taking yeah. care of his guys, man. Taking care of the guy that takes care of his guys. Because Matt Wiley yeah. is very popular among pitchers in the minor leagues. Oh, they, yeah. like, they love yeah. that guy. Yeah. Yep. 